Joel Greenlee, the, the Bobcats are rolling right now. 3-0 uh, and on the day, and uh, like we were talking, uh, probably one of the best teams you've ever had most balanced-wise. Joel, where does this come from? And, and, you know, it's been a building process, obviously, for you. Uh, you started your interim coach for Harry Huska from 98, 98-99? 97-98. 97-98 was your first year, and, and now you've just been building towards this. Where does this team balance come from? I, you know, I, I think some of it is, hey, when I first got here, we had four and a half scholarships. So you didn't have that much money. Now we have the 9.9. .9. Uh, obviously, you're able to get more guys. Um, you know, I, I thought, you know, three or four years ago, we had the same type of balance. But we had a lot of guys get hurt and, you know, career-ending injuries, and we just couldn't put it together. Now, I think those guys, are, we, we've had some good recruits. I think they're maybe under a little, little under the radar. Um, train hard, do the right things, and now it's starting to pay off. Uh, you know, I still think we're a ways away because we're pretty young. I mean, if you look at our lineup, we got a junior and a senior. Uh, so eight underclassmen still. When you look at like guys like Taiwan Claxton, I don't think a lot of people, you know, outside of uh, you know Athens have heard of that guy. But he, you know, he beat some pretty good guys last week. He's on a roll. Where are you getting guys like this? You know, solid guys who are just stepping up. Uh, you got. Uh, it looks like you've got a. Uh, Squire down to 133. Yeah. So you've got some guys where you need them. Where are you getting these guys? Where's this depth come from? Well, you just build in depth. I mean, I, I, Squire, I think, was a guy that we really thought was going to be a 41 pounder. Uh, he wrestled 41 all last year. Uh, had an injury, didn't wrestle much all summer, wasn't able to lift that stuff. Came back, we're like, hey, you know what? If you really want to be good, let's try 33. And uh, he's just getting back into it. I think he's going to be good. Uh, you know, we just got a lot of good, hard nosed kids that like to wrestle. And, and uh, you know, we're getting better and better and trying to make wrestling fun for them. You got uh, two All-Americans in your lineup. Johnson was an All-American two years ago, round 12 last year, and then Walters, All-American last year, took eighth, 174. You know, you actually have had returning All-Americans on the team before, but you've never had a team like this. Where do you attribute the balance of this team from? You know, Harry Hoos gets some pretty good teams. Yeah. You took over for Harry. You yep. had four and a half scholarships when you took over. How do you guys get to this level, and how do you make wrestling fun for the guys like you said? Well, I think to get to this level, a lot of it's recruiting the right kids. And, and I think that's hard to do. Um, you know, I, I think that's really hard to do. But you got to do a lot of homework, a lot of, a lot of research on every kid, get, uh, get the kids that fit into your program well. Um, listen to what you know. I mean, I, I think that, that was one of the biggest mistakes I made is, hey, you know, I think this kid's got a, uh, maybe some issues, but he's really good. Let's get him anyway. Well, now we don't do that. Uh, you know, you get guys that fit in well. You get guys that, that love to wrestle, want to wrestle in the summertime. And uh, winning's not going to carry you. Winning's not going to carry you in college. Winning carries you in high school. Winning's fun. You know, you have four, five, six, ten tough matches a year. You're going to win half of those. You win 25 matches, man, it's great. In college, it, you know, there's a lot of hard work. Wrestling, running. Uh, lifting, all those things, that's hard work. And you only wrestle really on the weekends. So winning doesn't overpower everything else like it does in high school. So you, you got to get the guys that, that like the grind. They like to wrestle. They, they like all parts about it. You don't have to like all three, but you got to like at least two out of the three. Wellington and Claxton are the type of guys, I think they were like third, fourth in the state maybe. You know, yeah. and, and you look at guys like that, you're getting guys like that who have a huge upside left in, in, in college. You're getting guys like that. Do you see guys like that when you're recruiting them? Seeing the production level you're going to get out of them, like you have, like like Wellington. Wellington was two and two at the NCAAs last year. Yeah. I mean, the guy, you know, he was like third in the state in Division Three, I think. Uh, you think he might, he might have been fourth? But. Fourth. <laughs> Stud, though. My point, though, it's a guy with uh, a huge upside. Well, uh, we watched him a couple times, and he wanted to come to Ohio University. He's an engineering student, he's a great student. Uh, and and you, you go and watch that kid wrestle, and you go, she, she could, he could be really good. He, you know, uh, he's good on top. He's all those things. That those are things that I look for that I really like in, in wrestlers. And uh, you, you come there. He comes to Ohio, and obviously the guy's an unbelievable athlete. A, B, unbelievably hard worker. You, you know that that's carried him to where he is. You know he wrestles Johnson every day in practice, and I don't want him to wrestle Johnson every day in practice because I'm, you know, I worry about him getting hurt or beat up or whatever from wrestling a heavyweight every day. But even if I try to pull him off and, and wrestle Johnson myself or have somebody else wrestle him, he's like, no, coach, I want to wrestle him today. I, so you know, it's just his work ethic, unbelievably hard work. Uh, Taiwan, you know, uh, that's a guy that. Uh, exudes confidence in everything he does you know and, and I like that a little bit uh, he loves to wrestle uh, and he's a guy that's he's a gamer when the lights are on that's when he's his best having two All-Americans on the team to lead the guys how important is that to have guys who've been there and done it unbelievably important I mean we you know that 
when I was in college, those, those are the guys I looked to. Those are the guys, you know, hey, A, you can do it from where you're at. You know, sometimes I don't know if you can you, you think that, hey, can I do it from here? Hey, you can do it from Ohio University. You can win a national championship. You can be an All-American. You, you can be a top 10 team. You can be all those things. Uh, and and that's, that's really the importance of that. You guys, they had you guys ranked first in the uh, Mac Coaches Poll. Do you put any credence into that? Uh, yes and no. I mean, it's fun for Ohio wrestling. There, there's a little bit of buzz around campus and around town about Ohio wrestling. And uh, people are excited about it. Our guys are excited about it. Uh, does it mean you're going to win it? Does it mean you're really the one, number one team? No, I don't think so. I, I think what it really means is that you have the most guys coming back that everybody knows about. That's, that, that's what that means. It, you know, there's... Central, I think, is a tough team. Kent State's, I think, is a tough team. Missouri, I think, is a tough team. Northern Iowa. Uh, all those teams are awful tough, but they're bringing some guys off redshirt. They're bringing, you know, and in the first rankings, you don't really include those guys. So it is what it is. It's fun for us because it's exciting and, and people are thinking about Ohio wrestling. Uh, does it mean that's where you're going to be? Heck no. you got a lot to prove between now and then. Coach, what's next for you guys? Navy Classic. Navy Classic. It's a classic. I'll see you next week. Good luck to you guys. All right. Thank you.